Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the CZ75 SP-01 Phantom full size, double action, single action handgun versus the new Springfield Armory Echelon. These are both very different, I already know that, but this is a striker fired, that's a hammer fired, but they're right around the same MSRP, at least they were when the CZ was available, they discontinued it. But I think they're both fine handguns and I just wanna compare them. Let's start with the CZ. It comes with 18 round mags. It has a four and a half, actually four and a quarter pound trigger pull. This model's the full size SP-01, except for it has a polymer frame. Now, CZ discontinued it. They discontinued it twice. Brought it back twice, discontinued it twice. I have to believe because of the P09, very similar handgun, but a 4.6 inch barrel, full pick rail right there, three dot luminescent sights that are rather small, and a decocker right here. Okay, decocks the gun into quarter cock. I've always loved this. I considered it one of my favorite CC handguns. Because it's Palmer, they offer an additional back strap. Went for about 600, 60 and a quarter when it was available. Same upper as the full size SP01 with the steel frame. Well, let me take a few shots here. I think I mentioned 18 round magazines. Nice pistol. Yep. People love CZ. On this channel, you guys love CZ, and I do too. That's why I own more than a couple. But over here, we've got the, the new Springfield Armory Echelon. Now, Springfield built this from the ground up. They made a completely different pistol than anything else in their lineup. We'll start with the mag. Here's a 20-round mag. They also have a 17-round mag. 4.5 inch barrel. You can see they have a trench cut there where that bevels in a little bit, makes it a little easier for press checks. Yes, it's optic ready. They call that VIS, variable interface system. Uh, kind of cheating, but it's not a shooting comparison. It's a handgun comparison. It's got that nice adaptive grip texturing that I like, and it's modular. Okay, so the trigger chassis will come out, go into different size frames. The trigger is a five pound trigger. It is flat and it has a very short reset. The Phantom has luminescent sights. This has a tritium front dot and a U-notch in the rear. Full pick rail as well. Both full size handguns. What I love about this are the additional features like the VIS system the modularity, the different takedown with many of the, compared to the other Springfield Armory handguns, and the magazine capacity of 20 rounds. Love the Echelon. Love the Phantom. But let me take a few shots here, and I'll give you my choice as to which one I would go with. All right, Echelon is pretty amazing. When I hear people say, well, that's not as good as this or, or as good as that, I wonder if they even shot it. Both are fine handguns, both are mine, so I don't have a, a major bias here. Love this, I've had it since 2019, which is when they brought it back, so I've had it much longer. The Phantom is a phenomenal handgun. I was bummed when they discontinued it, but I understood why. Springfield, on the other hand, built this from the ground up. They created a, a handgun that is very desirable, very updated with some of the, the optics that you can put on here, up to 30 different and even more with the footprint variants. Both full size, decent capacity, 18 rounds here and any other CZ75 magazine will fit in there. And then 20 rounds here. If I had to choose one, I'm going with the Echelon. I just love the updated features. Now, if this had an optic on it, maybe that would be different. Yeah, go ahead and 
to get the slide mill for an optic. Well, maybe I will, but right now I'm not going to. Both phenomenal handguns. What I really want to know is which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.